Let's go. Let's go. What's going on? Where are the people? Hi, bestie. Come on in, everyone. The water's fine. What's up? I had a Diet Pepsi. I wonder where I put it. I'm still here. Don't go anywhere. <clears throat> What's the deal, y'all? How we doing? Logan, congrats on passing. I'm proud of you. Hans in the flesh. Here we are. What's the deal, y'all? I'm just trying to soak it up. This is my last week on tour. Can you believe how fast this went? Can you be my dad? Sure, Logo. I officially adopt you. Hi, everyone. Oh, Autumn Nation. Thank you for buying a badge. Appreciate you. Ronnie, you just saw Lord? How were they? Grace, you're seeing me on Easter? He is risen, bitch. That is my, that's my last show on the road. What am I eating? I don't want to make y'all jealous because, like, I understand that it could be overwhelming because some people really can have it all. Because I'm a Broadway baby living my best life as a lead on this tour, and she can also cook. This is cedar plank salmon sautéed in honey butter on artisan rolls with garlic hummus spread underneath bitch are you god i'm alan hi baby thank you for buying a badge hello hey youngy thank you for buying a badge Logan got cast as Veronica in their city's uh, production of Heathers. That's dope. Can, con can Hans cook, bitch? Yes, she can. The gag of it all. Will you be in the show tomorrow? Yes, I will, Josh. I want to marry that cook. Yeah, Sam is lucky. That bitch better tie me down. <laughs> What do you think of Greenville? I love it here so far. Nat, thank you for the badge. Appreciate you. Chris is from Brazil. Thank you, Simone. Would you like to come to Mexico? Would I ever? Oh my God, the gag of it all. Not this verified account. Michael Mott, hi, I'm writing a new musical. Want to record some demos when you're back? Boo! Tell your people to call my people. Let's make it happen. I have a beautiful voice. Shalisha, is that your name? I don't drink regular Pepsi because I'm a diabetic. So I got to drink that diet Pepsi. Is bad. It's kind of like my only vice. Other than alcohol. And weed. And other things. <laughs> I have a lot of vices. But I'm just so nice. Mackenzie Kurtz! Mackenzie Kurtz is in here! I'm Alan. Thank you for a second badge. Mackenzie, look. I literally can have it all. This is cedar plank salmon. Sautéed in honey butter. On these little artisan rolls I got at Publix of all places. With a garlic spread, hummus garlic spread on the bottom. The gag? I was just Hans of the Southern Isles and then I came home and cooked me up a dinner? The gag. Mackenzie is genuinely one of my favorite people I've ever worked with. And I don't care who knows it. That can go on the record, bitch. Claire, thank you for the badge. Bpoc just asked, are you drunk? Everyone always asks if I'm drunk on the live. I'm not at all. I'm like, I'm just happy, I guess. I don't know. I just have a lot of energy. Sorry. It's really good. 
like honestly it's so fucking good come back to florida i'm sorry we already left we're in south carolina now connor thank you for the badge I love you back, Mackenzie. What are you eating? I've already said it twice. It's amazing. I'm a great cook. You know what I had the other day? Me and F got, uh, is it called Zaxby's? The Southern Chicken Chain? Bitch. That was all right. That Zaxby's sauce? It was fire. Oh, Kyle, thank you. Or maybe it's Kaylee. Hans's last name is Mahogany Jackson III. Zaxby's is fire. Allison Olivia Farrow knows. Allison knows what's up. Does the tour come to Utah? Honestly, boo, I don't know where the tour goes. This is my last city. I'm done after this. I wish you got to perform in Australia. It's not for lack of trying. I fully told the associate director, I was like, if you have any worldwide dates and you want to throw me in there, let me know. They got an Australia tour of Frozen. How about me? Put me in, coach. M. Allen bought three badges and their profile photo will now glow the gag. <laughs> would you make music again? I would love to. I mean, yes, I will. It's just a time thing because I do it all myself, so it's a lot. I got some pretty fire ideas, though. Oh, I love you too, Lucinda. Can you do a country accent? The Twitch daddies know. Let's get your picture made. When you mean country, do you mean like Southern, like American? Because I can do that. Someone just asked, can you slay? Girl, I slay every day. All I do is slay. Get your picture, mate. When will your next song release? I don't know. It all depends on, like, when I got time to make to get in the studio and make some shit. Top Gun Phantom. Hey, Daddy Fam. Do a metal scream? Literally no. I shan't. All I do is slay, slay, slay. Are you going to miss playing Hans? Yeah, no, I'm going to miss it a lot. I love these people, man. The vibe of this tour, immaculate. No, oh, they're after my lucky charms. The Twitch daddies in this chat are being real funny right now. Who would win in a fight, Barney or the Teletubbies? I mean, I think the Teletubbies would probably win because they have numbers on their side. You think Barney could take all four of those bitches? Tingy Wingy Dipsy La La Ampo? I don't know. Hi, Taylor. Diet Pepsi versus Diet Coke. Controversial opinion. I like Diet Pepsi more. You were incredible tonight. My life is complete. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Tonight was a good show. I felt awesome about tonight's show. What are your pronouns? I've talked about this before. I, I, don't, I don't care. I don't have any. Like, I know that for some people, pronouns are in extremely important. And I think that whatever people want to be called should be respected. That is my number one priority is making sure that whatever someone wants to be called, they're called. For me, though, like, 
I associate with all of the things that are about me that are stereotypically masculine, even though I don't think that technically means anything. I associate with all the things about me that are stereotypically feminine, even though I don't think that means anything. So if you call me he, if you call me she, if you call me they, I'm going to respond. Like, I refer to myself as she all the time. I understand the validity and the and respect the hell out of the idea of using non-gendered language, and I try to use non-gendered language as often as I can. Um, but like when it really comes down to it, I, I don't give a shit what you call me. Like, but that's just that's just me. That isn't me saying like none of us should give a shit. And people who have pronoun, you know, people who have specific pronouns are stupid. Like that's not like pe- some people have specific feelings about this and have made a specific choice about how they want to be referred to and that's period like if that's how they feel then that that should be honored um i just don't care i was literally i was kikiing with some of my friends the other night and one of my friends like referred to me as she and she was like oh sorry and i'm like boo you're not wrong like i'm a she i'm a he i'm a i'm a everything in between I'm a queen and a king and a queen, gender neutral royalty. I'm Alan. I love that. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for sharing that with me. I've honestly gotten in trouble sometimes. Because I refer to everything as she. Like, literally, I gave the library she her pronouns today in a conversation with someone at the stage door. And so sometimes I'll just refer to, like, everyone as she. And then I'll be like, oh, fuck, they have they, them pronouns. Or they prefer he, him pronouns. And I just said she. I feel bad about that. Because she isn't neutral, but I treat she like it's neutral. I'm like, she just said. And I'm like, ooh, I can't do that. TD, I've been on that shit since you told me that. I, I like, you're the one who said to me, just everyone, just refer to everyone as they, them. It's so much easier. Um, and that's the T, that's the business. Those little sandwiches are so good. Sing your favorite song from anything you've been in. Anything? All at once I felt a chill. In a spill of moonlight she was there. Though we both felt very still. Something, 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 something. I'm in the wrong part of the song. Has she been there all along? Was I too far gone to know? What a fool I must have been, bum. For how could I pull her in, bum, if I never let... Thank you. Moulin Rouge? What are you, bitch? What? That's not Moulin Rouge. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, chat. Who knows what that is? Does no one know what that is? Or are we just on a lag? Stop asking me to sing One Direction. Who knows what that is from? Does no one know what that's from? Oh my god. It's not Aaron Tveit. 
No, you're wrong. No one knows. No one say everyone's just avoiding it. Everyone's just avoiding this confrontation. Someone just asked me my opinions on rocks. What is that song from? I am so fucking gagged. It's from the Scarlet Goddamn Pimpernel. Jeez. Let's get educated, y'all. So, the weather. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, the musical. That would slap. I'd be into that. Who is the Scarlet Pimpernel? It was written by the same uh, composer of uh, Jekyll and Hyde. I'm just smiling and nodding. That's okay. Listen, we're all allowed to know different things. I just really thought people would know. I thought someone would know that. I'm not yelling. I'm sorry. I don't, don't, I'm not trying to be mad. I'm not trying to start shit. I don't want no drama. Um, <laughs> damn, I really thought y'all was woke. Educate us about One Direction. Bitch, I don't care. Harry Styles is the moment. After Harry Styles, it's the one that looks like Ellen DeGeneres. And the rest of them, and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, I'm just telling you about my preferences. The rest of them, I don't really care about. Oh, which Chad just popped in. Hi, Dottie. Oh my god. Chad, we said hi, Dad, at the same time. Uh, yeah, who's who's the one that looks like Ellen? Um, thank you, Niall. Is it Niall? We should take this back to my place. Boom, 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 boom. That's what she said right to my face. And then also, um, all of my life I've been that big weather, living in my top on a together. I want only in this city, but it feels different when you're with me, right? I know shit. But y'all don't know who Frank Wildhorn is, bitch. Scarlet Pimpernel. Oh man, you saw Elton John tonight? That's cool. My roommate is crying after the show tonight. She is such a big fan of you. That's so nice. I mean, I hope they're happy tears. I was not like, I thought that they were gonna end up together and then he said that he was lying and he tried to kill her sister and then she punched him in the face and I just I thought Hans was gonna be the good guy hopefully it's not that kind of crying sir are you streaming tomorrow I am <laughs> woof that was a big burp I am streaming tomorrow I'm gonna start an action replay random encounter Nuzlocke speed run of Pokemon Soul Silver on a Nintendo DS emulator that I found. Shows are going great. Thank you for asking. It's been it's been baller. I've had a great time. Have you been posting on YouTube recently? Haven't seen you post. We posted twice last week. We got two more videos coming this week, boo. Would you ever play Animal Crossing on stream? We've played Animal Crossing a lot on stream. It's just kind of boring. I just finished Soul Silver on my DS. I love Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Best remakes they've done. You would kill an Alice by Heart. Thank you. Stan, an active king. Bitch, I'm always active. I've been doing these lives. I've been doing this Twitch. I've been touring as Hans on the road. Doing the YouTube. Like, she is booked. She is blessed. She is busy.
Have you played Jackbox? Not on my not on my stream. We played Jackbox on Torrance's stream, Torrance Coombs of Rain Fame. Um We did uh what the dub on my stream once. How's our bestie Bailey doing? I miss my dog so much. I can't wait to see them. What city are y'all in? I'm in Greenville, South Carolina right now. My roommate is in love with you. Anytime someone says that, it, it feels a little bit like indirect shade. Like I'm like, okay, well, it sounds like your roommate has great taste, but like you're not in love with me. I'm not good enough for you, just your roommate. Oh, my sister is such a big fan. Oh, your sister? Yeah, you don't give a shit, really? Doubt it. Doubt it. Do you love Greenville? I actually really do love Greenville. Um, it's a beautiful city. People have been nice to me here. Food's great. Drinks are great. Theater's nice. Poder hablar español inglés, pero no entiendo mucho. I kind of understood what that said. I was raised by Diggy. Woof. That's a lot. What's your favorite word? I, I, I'm often tickled by the word bucket. I just think bucket. I think because bucket is so closely related to fuck it. Fuck it. Bucket. I don't know. I just like it. I've always liked the word bucket. You've always been my crush. Thanks, Moon Easy. It's very nice. You have good taste. I'm doing a concert version of Heather's this summer as Veronica. Purr, let's go. Can you speak Spanish? Aprendí en la escuela. Pero. Olvide todo. It's really sad. Because I should remember, but I don't. I also don't even know if I did a good job with what I just said. I have no idea if that was right. Say me olvido as I forgot. Like it escapes me. Olvide, Toto. I forgot all of it. Gracias, Coral. I try my best. It's just I suck at it. I also hate being bad at things. So I want to... Wait. Someone just said a thing and I... Hold on. Gilbert Godfrey died. I didn't know that. Rare genetic muscle disease. Wow, and the statement is, in addition to being the most iconic voice in comedy, true. Gilbert was a wonderful husband, brother, father, and friend. Although today is a sad day for all of us, please keep laughing as loud as possible in Gilbert's honor. I had no idea that Gilbert Godfrey died. Oh. Sorry, y'all. I didn't know, and someone just told me on in the chat. I didn't know. Damn.
that's uh, that's the worst. I hate when people die. It's the worst thing people do. Third time, I truly, I, people die. I really should stop going live. I think that's because every time, like, well, not every time, but when someone dies, I'm live. Like, I heard Stephen Sondheim died when I was live. Gilbert, who is the third one? There was someone else that died while I was live. I think it was on Twitch, too. <laughs> It always have. I know it truly. Bob Saget. That's right. Oh, yeah, Betty White. Oh, my God. Everyone's dying. Everything sucks. Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Everyone's dying. Fuck it. I'm not talking about this anymore. I don't, I don't want to be sad. It was Bob Saget, though. Yeah. <laughs> so how's Frozen? Frozen's good. I'm having a great time. Everyone's very nice to me. Would you do drag again? Fuck yeah, I would. <laughs> Coral. Anyway, back to Disney. Oh, E. Shirley, you were there? What's my favorite Frozen song? I mean, probably Let It Go. Like, duh. But one of my favorite moments to sing, as silly as it is, we all come in when Elsa's coming downstage to get coronated. And we stand like this and we sing in like a little choir. Queen anointed our chosen daughter with blessed crown of gold. It doesn't sound as cool because I'm just singing the tenor two part. But we sing this like whole like choir moment. And it's gorge. I, I'm like, oh my God, I'm in like a little choir and we're all nailing it. And then like we dance. It's great. Northern glory, our golden sister, the heir to kings of old. Let our voice sing praise and bring to light. And then the sopranos go, your power. And then we come in, bring to light your power. Noble queen of our northern lands, we are in your hands. Would I rather play Elsa or Anna? Elsa gets all the credit but has to sing her titties off. And Anna does the most work. So probably Elsa, because I'd get more credit. <laughs> I'm not singing Let It Go again, but the last time I went live on Instagram, I sang Let It Go, and I fucking nailed it, and I'm not sorry about it. Thoughts on Chicago the Musical? Not many. I don't think about Chicago all that often. Lip shits. There. You kind of make me uncomfy? Then leave then. No one's keeping you here. <laughs> Bye. You would be a baddie as Elsa. I know, right? I would fucking love that. I mean, we would have to change the keys. Favorite scene in Frozen? The library. When Hans comes in, he's like, Anna, what happened? And she's like, my, my sister struck me. And I said, you said she would never hurt you. And she said, I was wrong. She, she struck me with her powers and no, now only an act of true love will save me. And I say, a true love's kiss. And then I get all close to her and I say, oh, Anna... If only there was someone out there who loved you. And she's like, what? I thought you did. And I said, <laughs> I lied. I fucking love that shit. Ah! 
What's your favorite Olaf lines? I don't... Sorry, I had bad connection. I'm back. I don't know if you heard me. My favorite Olaf line is, I don't have a skull or bones. You should play Olaf. I, I mean, I... Not many people know this about me, but I'm a professional puppeteer. Um, I, I've puppeteered at the Tony Award-winning Children's Theater Company in Minneapolis and also for Disneyland. Hi, Hannah! My cousin's in here. I love you, Hannah. Like, I know all about the lip sync. You know? Got the eyes, the eyebrows. I could crush. Has anyone told you that you kind of look like Cole? <laughs> well, this person said, tried to say, has anyone told you that you look like Cole Sprouse? But they typed Cole Sprouts, which I actually fucking love. And now I want to make a male drag king named Cole Sprouts. And they just, the whole act is just like trying to give people vegetables. The bees will buzz, the kids will blow dandelion fuzz, and I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. Da -ba -bum -ba -ba -bum. Everyone loves Olaf. You know what's crazy, though? Olaf is a fan favorite, and that's why Olaf, Olaf exists. But riddle me this. This is no shade, all tea. Riddle me this, because if Olaf wasn't in this show, I'd be crushed. A, because I love Olaf, and B, because the person who plays Olaf is one of my favorite people in the entire company. But are you ready for this tea? All tea, no shade. If you take Olaf out of Frozen, what changes? Like... Olaf isn't even a plot point. The gag of it all. Goopy. Olaf's just there. No, I I know that Olaf makes the movie and and Olaf is great, but in terms of like writing you want your main characters to drive the plot, and Olaf does not drive the plot at all. Anna doesn't get saved from the room. Yeah, except... Anna freezes at the very last minute, protecting Elsa from Hans. She has a long time. And what does Olaf say? Look! That's Kristoff and Sven coming this way, riding across the fjords like a valiant, pungent reindeer king. Kristoff was coming back for her. So don't you tell me that Anna would have died if Olaf didn't save her because Kristoff was coming back. Hangy. So, sorry about it. <laughs> he opens the door with his nose. <laughs> Uh. Olaf's a merch grab. That's what Olaf is. Uh, also, riddle me this. If an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart, then why is it that when Olaf out of love, almost melts in order to start a fire to keep Anna warm. Anna and her heart doesn't thaw. If an act of true love thaws a frozen heart, then why doesn't Olaf's act of true love Thaw her heart. Thank you for the badge, Renee. 
All right, bitch, you're leaving. Bye. Hold on, I have to block someone because this bitch is being a bully. I am way too good for you. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, everyone's talking so fast. Okay, um, yeah, block. Bye, see you later. Fuck you. Okay. I'm not, I'm not coming for Olaf. Jeez, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking here. I'm just talking here. Maybe because Olaf was created by Elsa and technically doesn't exist or is an extension of her. But if Olaf is an extension of, Elf, of Elsa, then Olaf is literally her love incarnate. And if Olaf sacrifices itself for Anna as a spiritual incarnation of Elsa's love, then that would thaw Anna's frozen heart beach. I'm just saying... Think about it. You're going to go down in history as Hans the Olaf hater. I love Olaf. I'm just asking questions. Okay? I'm just, I'm just, I'm inquisitive by nature. I am an, e, I am, I'm an ENTP. What's your favorite bug? None. Neither. Nary. I hate bugs. Do you sometimes? Who just dragged me like that? Jacob? No, not Jacob. Who? Taylor goes, do you sometimes feel like the Olaf of your friend group? No, bitch. You couldn't write me out of the friend group. I change way too much of the plot. A dragonfly bit me once. I don't fuck with dragonflies. Everyone's like, oh, they're peaceful. They don't bite. Nah, bitch. A dragonfly bit me once. Yeah, I'm the Elsa. I'm a good guy the whole time, but I have power that I don't understand, and it almost fucks everything up. No, bitch, I'm not the Hans. The Hans of my friend group is no longer in my friend group, because we realized that she was the Hans. I mean, they. It wasn't, it wasn't a girl. It could have been anyone. It was a girl, though. I'm not going to tell you who she was, though. I'm not, I'm not trying to dox people. Why are Alphaba and Elsa so similar? Bitch, you want to talk about that? Frozen and Wicked are the exact same movie. Who is Sam? Sam is my partner. She's a really nice lady. Would you rather do Elsa or Anna drag? I've already done Elsa drag. I mean, she was light. It was just for Halloween, but I looked great. I don't cause commotions. I am one. Absolutely. No good deed and monster are the same thing. Absolutely. Let it go and define gravity are the same thing. And in a way, dangerous to dream and the wizard and I are the same thing. Not as... Parallel, but similar. Hans is the Madame Morrible of Frozen. Oh my god, that hurts so much, but that's kind of... Well, Hans is kind of the Fiero, it's just in reverse. Because Fiero starts like an asshole, and then we realize that he's really actually very good inside. And Hans starts very good inside, but we realize that he's actually an asshole. Not to mention literally the same people playing them. Exactly. What's your dream role? My dream role has not been written yet. Diet Pepsi all the way. Diet Coke tastes like 
Diet Coke tastes stale to me. Who is your favorite person to work with in Scotland, PA? Probably Megan. Wow, y'all are starting to wild out. Someone's just like, marry me! Are you going to pull a Lin-Manuel Miranda and write your own show? No, bitch, I'm not that talented. I'm good at interpreting other people's words. I'm not good at writing my own. I mean, I'm a, I'm a good songwriter, but I don't think I could write a musical like that. Fit check. I kind of look ugly right now because I just have, like, sweat shorts on under this. But this is a nice little Urban Outfitters moment. A little corduroy zip up. But I just wear it with nothing underneath. Oh my god, we've kissed the same moose in Alaska? That's so nice for us. Girl, what? Y'all are starting to wild out. Have we, have we reached the point where it's not worth being live anymore? <laughs> I got people asking me about Dove again. It's like, bitch, it's been like seven years. Can you give it a rest? I got people being like, are you going to publish your phone number? Like, are you just starting to wild out because we don't have anything to talk about? I can let you guys go. <laughs> we don't need to keep doing this if we're just going to start scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 6'2". It's so late they're transforming. I know, truly grem gremlin rules. Like, did someone get you all wet after midnight? What's going on? Is that the... What are the gremlin, gremlin rules? Oh, no, don't feed them after midnight and never get them wet, right? Ryan, from 1 to 10, how hard did you slay today? I felt pretty fucking... I'm going to give myself a full-ass 10. I felt great about my show today. Because I am so allergic to Greenville. Like, ever since I've been here, I've had terrible post-nasal drip, and it's really been affecting the way I sing. And bitch, don't worry, because I can sing through it. But, like, it's not as fierce as I want it to be. And today, I don't know if I've just been on that good, good Claritin for, for long enough, but I got out there, bitch, and I was just like... Like, it was just crystal clear. I was hitting everything I wanted to hit. I felt so in control for the first time in a week. So I've, I'm going to give myself a 10. I felt real slayage going on. Any plans of returning to the stage after the Frozen tour? I have no plans after this. None at all. So we'll see what happens. Do you think Elsa gives gay vibes? Gay? I think Elsa gives ace vibes. Isaiah, you like the Patti LaPone vibrato there? <laughs> oh, man. Favorite Pringle flavor? Sometimes I'll fuck with the sour cream and onion, but I'm an original bitch. Give me that original. Sound from Sarah, thank you for the badge. You've reached 10 supporters. Don't forget to thank them. Thanks, supporters. <laughs> Sound from Sarah bought another badge. Thank you. Hogwarts house, I'm a Slytherin boo. All day. How did you book Rocky, the Rocky Horror Picture Show? I auditioned for it like a billion times and I beat everyone else out, honey. That's how I did it. 
Tara, thank you for the badge. Tara, Tara. It's Tara. Wait, I always do this. You're Tara from Twitch? Tara. Tara, fuck. I, I've done this so many times, and I always forget. Morgan, thank you for the badge. Hi, Mary. Were you at the Fort Lauderdale Airport on Saturday? Saturday? No, I was not. Renee, thank you for the badge. Oh my God, y'all wildin'. Just money, 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 money. Money. Appreciate you. I'll spend this on some Southern California soul food. Hi, Sydney. Which country would you like to visit? Uh, Ireland. Visit my people. I love spicy foods, but I'm bad at spicy foods. Like, I love them, but they really fuck me up. So I have to, like, be careful. Jane Ellie Jelly, thank you for the badge. Appreciate you so much. Favorite number in Frozen? I mean, I love Love is an Open Door, but it's the hardest one. Colder by the Minute is fucking sick. When we're all... When Elsa's about to die and we're all running around. That's... That's pretty litty. Choose a Hamilton character to play? Well, considering there's one white lead, I'm gonna go with the king. I would crush at that, though. Toronto? Only thing I've worked on in Toronto was the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I fucking love that shit. Are you monogamous or poly? Right now, Samantha, my relationship is monogamous. Uh, I imagine it will likely stay that way. But um, I'm fully open to a conversation. I, I think every monogamous relationship should at least be open to a conversation about being poly. Because I believe that every relationship should be open to any conversation because people change. Which is not me saying like secretly like ooh sam like i i need other people i'm not satisfied that's not what i'm fucking saying i'm just saying like i think you know 5 years ago i didn't know that i was an abuse victim i didn't know that i had depression i didn't know i was queer like a lot of shit can change in 5 years so you know if you are evolving as a person relationships are going to evolve as people evolve and i just always think that a healthy relationship keeps any and all conversations uh, as open dialogue. But Sam and I are monogamous. We don't, we don't, you know, that's, that's where we're at. Tara. I think it's Tara. I really think it's Tara, but I don't know if I'm right. But thank you for the badge. I appreciate you. I really think it's Tara. We already talked about my pronouns. Uh... I would say your name is Verity, but I don't know if that's right. Tara, Ara. The way that I remember is like, how would I say it if I was in New York? Tara, not Tara, because that's how I would say if I say it if I was in Minnesota. So I I think about like, okay, I gotta say it like I'm in New York. Emma, thank you for the badge. Appreciate you. The most underrated musical? Gosh, I don't know. Heathers, probably? <laughs> I don't know. Heathers has a lot of hype around it. Our Heathers is underrated. Everyone's like, oh my god, the West End. And I love the West End. I'm not, th I'm not throwing shade to them. I'm just saying like, bitch, what about us? I'm just, I'm salty because we closed so fast. It really has actually literally nothing to do with the West End. I'm just salty because we closed so fast. And I'm also salty because I was so young. If I was doing a show like that, but it was now, and it had the hype behind it that it has now, I just feel like our run didn't get the run it deserved. Verity, thank you for, this, for the badge. How did you become an EGOT winning actress? Manifestation. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god. Ava, to what do we owe the pleasure? You are perfect to be one of the princes in Into the Woods. I played Cinderella's prince in high school. Except right now, like I was about to sing it, but all I could think of is the Rapunzel's prince uh, verse. High in her tower, she sits by the hour. Doors agony, misery, woe, far more. No, oh, whatever. You know how it goes. It's been a long time since I did that play. I don't remember any of the words. <clears throat> uh, I would do anything to work with Meryl Streep to answer that question. Far more painful than yours when you know she would go with you if there only were doors. <sighs> Just saw you on Sunday at the Peace Center. Thank you. That's amazing that you saw the show. I'm glad you liked it. Favorite person you've ever worked with? Girl, I can't do that. Like, favorite ever? I can't do that. I've worked with too many good people. Laverne Cox, Reeve Carney, Mackenzie Kurtz. John Edson, Evan Todd. I'm just like, I just got lost. I just fully zoned out. I, I've worked with so many good people, man. Olivia Holt, Alex Wolf. Jai Frasca, Kem Martin. Kevin Chamberlain. Annalie Ashford. Christina Million, Sierra Renee, bitch, Ellen Marlowe, bitch, Bowman. I mean, thank you for the badge, Angelina. Like, the people I've worked with, straight fire. Straight fire, bro. All right, y'all. I'm going to take a few more questions, and then I'm going to let y'all go. I'm starting to get a little sleepy. I want to take these contacts out, rest these weary eyes. You look really sleepy. You good. I mean, I did just do a whole play for all the people. <clears throat> Want to finish my homework for me? No. I'm writing an essay on the fact that makeup is an art form. What is your opinion on that? I fully agree with that. Will you be my dad? Of course I will. Miss Eva Zeefield. <laughs> What's your prescription for contacts? Uh, I got... Negative three with an astigmatism and negative 2.5 over there. When is your next show? Tomorrow night at 7.30. I don't have merch. I probably should, but I don't, which is stupid. I guess I just hate money. Any good acting tips? Don't plan that shit out. Be present in the moment. Everything that you need is happening right in front of you at the time. 
Period. Like, be present in the moment. Because if you spend a whole bunch of time creating your whole roadmap, this is what I'm going to do, this is how I'm doing it, you're, you're being robotic. You're not present in the moment. <laughs> Acting is not about being active. It's about being receptive. Listen. Good actors listen. Oh, my God. Okay, I think I'm going to leave. Are you spiritual? I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. I'm not religious. Religion has hurt me and all the people that I love way too much for me to fuck with religion. I mean, I'm spiritual in the sense that I really want there to be more to this life than just, like, making money and dying. I really want there to be more in this life, but I don't have any empirical evidence to prove that there is. (laughs) I'm spiritual in the sense that I, I believe that there must be something higher than, than this. I, I feel tethered to something beyond just my bones and flesh. But I don't know what it is, and I also don't pretend to know what it is, and I don't shove that bullshit down other people's throats because I pretend to have it all figured out. But I also don't... I don't I don't try to silence people who do think they have it all figured out. They're wrong. They don't have it figured out. No one knows anything. But that's their journey. I'm not I don't I don't show up and say fuck you. This is what you're supposed to believe. But I also don't show up and say fuck you. You're not supposed to believe anything. I mean You know, I'm I'm agnostic in that sense. I, I remove myself from the whole conversation. I know what I want there to be. I want there to be a, a a benevolent force that's looking after me and taking care of me. But I don't have any empirical evidence evidence to believe that that was the case. Because if there was, why is it giving me this great life and letting a bunch of fucking Ukrainian people die and you know children starve and mothers be abusive to their daughters, like? I don't want to believe in a God that does that. But I do want to believe in a God that's looking out for me and is going to get me my EGOT, you know what I mean? So, it's tough. I don't know what to believe. But, we can go into all of the, uh, all of the nitty gritty about religion some other time. Uh, I will be going live on Twitch if any of you want to join me tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be streaming from 2 to 5. I'm doing an action replay random encounter Nuzlocke speed run of Pokemon Soul Silver, bitch. It's going to be litty. Uh, so if you want to join me, come join me there. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you all on, on the flip side. Thanks for a great live. I had a good time. Uh, I love you all very much. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Keep on keeping on. I'm thinking about you, sending you a lot of love. Oh, what did I do? Okay, I'm leaving for real now. Bye, Daddy!